Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And we are back with the start of the 333 day anniversary. And of course, along with it, there are new limited missions and a couple of new gotcha banners to go over. Now, of course, if you guys want to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more content, and let me know your thoughts on the 333 day campaign. I think this is kind of like a more muted campaign, to be quite honest. Even though it features the re release gotcha of Artemis, this just feels like bait, to be quite honest. And I'll explain why in just a moment. But I generally think that this is pretty much just bait and a precursor to what we will see in the anniversary more so than anything else. I mean, I think this next month is pretty much just going to be bait central, to be honest. I'm pretty sure we're going to see the reruns of the Valentine's units, Earth Bell as well. So it's going to be pretty hard for players to be able to, you know, go into the anniversary with their stock of Iris completely saved up. But let's break it down. Let's break down everything that is a part of this campaign. And let's take a look at everything. Let's take a look at everything. So, first and foremost, let's talk about the missions. Because I think they are the most interesting ones. And of course, also, well, I say most interesting ones. They are the ones that I think the most players will do, I feel, compared to the gacha banners. So, let's take a look, right? So, a, a lot of it is around the theme of uh, 33. Multiples of 11 more, so I should say, right? So, there's obviously, you can get Exilia for logging in over the next couple of days the more stamina consumed you basically get tickets as well so if you consume 3333 stamina you will get 33 tickets it just shows 11 tickets right now but they unlock the missions as you progress so 1111 stamina first 2222 and then 3333 so keep that in mind when you are going to be doing this make sure you guys are using up your stamina that's something i will do in a moment as well um or alternatively you can use your uh potato snacks of course you if you have a plethora like i do um you can just you know chuck in some stamina uh, potato poppers and use them for this uh mission uh, effectively to just get it out of the way you know just get it out of the way and get it done and over with right um there's also mystical fauna as well which i'm super happy about of course as well more ways for players to basically get this resource um again one thing i really want them to do more of this uh, more stuff is just do stuff like this where there's more missions and maybe a week on week basis or every two weeks basis right um along with of course the normal event campaign and everything right i want them to do something more like this where you are able to effectively get more resources and therefore you know help out the starting players get a bit of a jump start right because one of the things that a lot of people really criticize about Don Crow, and I feel like this is not just a Don Crow issue, it's a more of a, a gacha gaming issue, is the start is always very, very slow. You, you get into the gacha game, and it takes you an eternity to get into the game and get into the end parts of the game. Genshin has the same issue. You have to slog through a lot to get to where I am, for example, in Genshin Impact, or where somebody else might be in Genshin Impact. It's the same with Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. You can have a good start and you know i remember uh we actually tested it out in dokkan battle on how you can potentially clear one of the well what used to be once upon a time ago one of the hardest stages now it's like one of the easiest stages to be quite honest but it's still like a it's it, it, it's a significant point to you reaching the mid game and it still takes you about two three hours and you need to have a perfect start in that sense and of course have the perfect support units with friends and stuff so again it just shows that you still need to invest a lot of time into progressing your account to get to a point where you can do the mid to end game content. What can help is if the developers and the uh, Aiming Inc. team for Dawn Crow especially, but also other gacha games, what they can do to alleviate those issues is like whenever the big celebrations come around or when we're approaching a big celebration, right? They ramp up the resources that players are getting either or either or that or they introduce ways for players to save up a lot, basically, right? And this is exactly what's happening here with the 333 day campaign. We're getting a lot of items already uh, early on. Yes, is it um, not ex extor it's not. Uh, you know exorbitant it's not like a huge amount but it is still an amount nonetheless that will help players out especially at the beginning especially when you have things like this the, these potato poppers right that recover stamina right you get 33 of those again it'll feed into this basically right and then of course not only that if you are not done with the event for example you can then you know use the stamina that you use into this effectively to then go into the item exchange and buy the things that you need most likely you're gonna buy more gift of benevolences or the fragments primarily to be honest so that you can obviously get more resources 
resources in that sense. The gift of benevolence gives you the CP rewards, right? And then the ability board obviously enhances the ability board of your unit. So comes in handy uh, very much so. It really does come in handy a lot. So keep that in mind, of course, right? So that is the 333 day campaign for the missions front, right? That is the missions. Now, let's talk about the gotcha side of things. And this is where things get very tricky, right? Because there's a couple of gotchas here. There's quite a lot of gotchas here. So we have to go through every single one of them. So you have your ticket gotchas here, of course, right? And we'll talk about those in just a moment. But first and foremost, this is a one-time only paid Selas uh, summon. And it is only guaranteed uh, UR characters that are in the regular gotcha. No limited characters are available in here. It's only just uh, URs that are available in the regular gotcha. No limited characters, no nothing. Just characters limited, uh, available in the regular gotcha. So you've got your Bell, Eyes, Mikoto, Chloe, Lunor, Anya, so on and so forth. Um, this is... Honestly, for 500 Selas, it's not the end of the world, considering it's a guaranteed UR. 500 paid Selas. I mean, if you are, this is, of course, assuming you are a spending player. If you're not a spending player, don't ignore it entirely. Just ignore it, right? The next thing they have is the paid banner, which does feature the 14 times only. So I was wrong based on the data download. I thought this would be also attached to the regular gacha. But this is the... Uh, uh, paid only gacha and it has every single limited character bef uh, from Artemis and before not anything afterwards so there's no Valentine's units there's no Earth Bell and uh, you know Chigusa and stuff it's only Artemis and before now I, I personally wouldn't do this to be quite honest I mean I personally wouldn't um, I mean unless you really want to the exchange shop isn't too bad considering you only need to do eight multis to effectively get these units, your unit of choice, and then you can also do these guaranteed UR and assist gachas. I personally just wouldn't, to be quite honest. I'd rather just save. While Artemis is a fantastic drop, every other unit outside of Water Bell, I mean, okay. I shouldn't say that every single one of the all of these units are actually really good, you know? The New Year's units, Christmas units, and Artemis are actually all still very, very solid. But I don't know if I would say that they are worth the paid sailors right now with the anniversary coming up. You would rather save your paid sailors for the anniversary instead, is my point I'm trying to make there. And I think that is something to keep in mind. And that's why I would probably say this is an easy skip. And what makes it an even easier skip and why I think that this is amazing bait, but also very weak bait, in my opinion, is that Artemis is back for one. She's the only one on her banner, so she's the only raid up available on the banner, just like we always do, like a single unit banner. It's 0.7% featured raid, of course, right? Makes sense on that front. But the other thing is that she's the only one available in the pity. Like, there's no 80 ticket pity or anything of that sort. It is only her. I love how literally yesterday in my video about the character survey, I said that the single banner units need to change. And they go and make an even worse version with this one without the ticket. It's quite funny in that sense. But... Again, I will say this. I say it's obviously they're baiting players into summoning for Artemis before the anniversary, but I will say that they've made it even easier for people to skip, to be quite honest. I really do think that this is quite an easy skip for every player, to be quite honest, because why would you want to summon on this type of a banner? You know, why would you summon? You're not guaranteed uh, Artemis unless you have 56,000 plus Selas and you're like in the hundred thousands i wouldn't recommend summoning otherwise but like realistically why would you do this right when there's a unit that's probably going to be coming out during the anniversary that's going to be absolutely broken and out of this world why would you be going for this right why would you even try and go for this so for me personally i think that this is a very easy skip and i think honestly players shouldn't complain in my opinion i i, I know people will complain and i understand why people will complain because they wanted artemis especially if you're a big fan of artemis going in going for artemis and and obviously not having the tickets is going to be a detriment of course big time but i think for the majority of the player base right and i i'm looking at it from the majority of the player base i think it's a good thing in a way that they've done this so that players are fi finding it super easy to skip however i will say that yeah, they could have done a better job here though nonetheless i do feel bad for those who were really wanting to get artemis you know, it's not fun to have a banner like this where, you know, you're basically having to go all the way or not. 
Again, it's one of those issues that we said at the start of the game's life cycle that is going to be a problem, right? Even with the increasing amounts of Selahs that we're getting, right? Look, we're at four, I'm at 48,000 Selahs. I'm only 8,000 away. I was literally at 28, 29,000 like a month, a little less than a month ago, right? I think like literally three weeks ago uh, at the start of the Sword Oratory event, I was literally at 30,000 and then now I'm at 48,000. And I've also been summoning, by the way, as well. Keep in mind that I have been summoning recently as well. So, uh, like, I've been going for, of course, uh, you know, I've been going for, uh, I've, I went for Philvis, right? I did a multi on Philvis. I did a multi on the, um, you know, Cassandra Chigusa banner. And I did a multi on the Tiona Hephaestus banner because I wanted to get the Rainbow Bonds. So, in that sense, right, like, look, uh, if we take a look right here, obviously, I've spent 2,800 on the 18th, right? Um... It only just shows me the last 30. Okay, now that's kind of unfortunate. But like I've done like at least another like three or four multis since the Sword Oratoria banners went live. And so being at 48,000, I mean, if I had not done those four to three to four multis, arguably, I would have probably already been at pity by now, which is kind of crazy to say. But yeah, you can get to pity very easily now in the game. But that doesn't make a difference in that, you know, you don't want to obviously spend all your currency because you know that you will need it potentially for whatever's coming up. And especially with the anniversary a month away, it's like, well, yeah, you know, you're going to just save up for that. And this it makes this banner look a lot weaker because of that, right? It was already looking weak, actually, because of that. But then obviously the addition of the fact that they've not added any tickets or anything makes it an even easier skip. I'll say players should skip, to be honest. I think players should skip this. It's a very easy skip. Just take advantage of this, uh, you know, relaxing period. And there has been information about what's going to be coming up in the next update. Uh, I will be making a video about it as it's, it'll be a separate video. Be on the lookout for it. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, of course, like I said, love the missions. Uh, I think that's a fantastic thing that they're doing, of course, right? Being able to give us these missions, right? But on the other side, I will say that the gacha banners themselves are fairly easy skips. Maybe outside of this one, because of, of course, people will say, but you can get scene cards and stuff. And all, but on, in all honesty, getting the scene cards is actually worth it, especially with the changes and how much of an improvement that they can give to your team. People are really underestimating scene cards, right? And I'm, in my opinion, I know, I know that characters will obviously be more popular because you're able to use them. You need them actually as a foundation of the team and stuff, right? But scene cards, especially for a mid to late game player, is super important as well. Like these scene cards are getting better and better and better. And especially if they do unlock that third slot at any given point, I think uh, that'll be very uh, significant. That'll be very, very significant. So that paid Selah's banner, the 500 paid one, I don't think is a bad idea necessarily for players. But otherwise, Easy skips, easy skips. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.